So this is an active grow uh, LED tent setup. Um, it utilizes blue light, um, which is the spectrum that is uh, for mushrooms. Uh, Paul Stamen, who is a mushroom god amongst us, uh, a very uh, well-known fungi scientist, uh, has come to the conclusion through experiments and theory that blue light is the most optimal spectrum of lighting uh, for mushrooms. However, the great thing about this tent is you can adjust those spectrums to all different levels to fit, you know, small growth food. If you want to do microgreens, if you want to do like tomatoes, you can change the lighting. And that's the great thing about the science and active grow LEDs. What they do is they can give you all these variances to grow pretty much anything you want to grow indoors. And that really is truly the future of, of food is bringing it closer to you. So if you can grow your own food at home, not just the economic benefits, but also the health benefits that are included in that. And that's kind of our pursuit of, of our best product that we can do is the pursuit of how close can we get it and how organic can it be without chemicals and without all the extra things that come with it to bring it up, make that food basically as pure as it can be. Now the setup right here is really simple. These have doors that we close and we can keep the mushrooms in darkness and I'm addressing mushrooms specifically but the great thing about this is these have windows that you can also cover so you can really dictate what's going on with the light and the exposure of whatever plant you're working on specifically with mushrooms you want to keep it in darkness until you're ready to fruit them this particular set of mushrooms is in what it's called its mycelium growth phase so it's beginning and we'll show we'll give you a little close up here but this is in the mycelium stage right now. So when the time comes, we only have this on right now to kind of showcase. But when the time comes, we blast it with this blue light. And then that will, that will, that will process the fruiting power of the mushroom. So right now, even us just showing this could potentially, because the mycelium's almost to that point, I might get an early fruiting just because we're showing this. So that's how powerful these lights they can be. Another thing that you want to control is air. And that's a great thing about this. Um, active grow LED tent is that you have all of these spaces there's one two three four five six seven spaces that you can get airflow in you can control the in, the uh, environment around the plants um, whether you want to use a filter system whether you want to use uh, um, so you can you can control the humidity you can control the airflow you can keep uh, you can keep the air clean um, you don't have to worry about <coughs> insects getting in because there's there's vents with uh, screens on them here so all those uh you know the tent itself because it's got this smooth white reflective uh liner enables you to keep things very clean enable which is critical for not getting mildew or mold growing in in your systems um and it enables it to reflect all the light so maximize light reflection so it makes the best use of the energy spent on this the great thing that i love about this brian is like like you control everything. You control the ambient temperature, what that is. You control your airflow, you control your lighting. Like you have the most precision control of your plant that you can have using one of these. So for example, when I first started doing this, I was doing it in my kitchen and I had several occasions where I had mold spore take over my mushrooms because it was exposed. Because stuff is just floating around in your own home, in your own kitchen, no matter how clean you are, stuff floats around so the more hygienic you can be and the more you can keep your plants away from any kind of contaminations that's really key to your success it just ups the chances of the highest product that you can produce so we really love this because of those reasons you can have full control of it so with mushrooms in particular um, they like a perfect temperature of right around 80 degrees some mush mushrooms like a little bit lower some like a little bit higher just like other plants I find the sweet spot for mushrooms is 80 degrees. It's really tough in a place like this when I have it, like if you have it in a closet or in a spare room, your temperature fluctuates a lot. This helps you really control that. So you get the optimal flowering or fruiting uh, in your plant when you can control that temperature precisely, like within one to two degrees. Because that five to 10 degrees of your room um, has a huge impact on what you're doing. So let's take a close look at the mycelium growing right now. So you notice I have these dates right here. So this is my inoculation date, meaning that this is when I took the spores and um, began to grow the spores. This is the date that I put them into the growth media. So it's been uh, two weeks now, so we need another about two more weeks for them to get there. But you can actually see in here that the mycelium is starting to spread. 
So that's the webbing of the mycelium. And as it's spreading out, you will soon be able to get to see pins or what is known as little baby mushrooms. But I, I see, I don't see any pins yet. That's why I smell. I don't smell. I don't see any mold. I don't see any mildew. Yeah. So these are, and you'll notice all the water around here because you want to keep it really damp in a high. Um, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Be moisture content. High, high moisture. Yeah, high humidity in here. They they like a really high humidity to grow, and that's why this mycelium is actually spreading really fast, which is a good thing. So the reason that I keep them covered because you also want. Um, cause they, they create carbon, carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide helps with the growth of the mycelium. So, um, that's another wonderful thing about mycelium is they're not a, they don't, they don't need, um, light for fruiting. They just need light for knowing where to grow, when to grow, when to pop. So it's more of a timing thing with their photo, photosensitivity versus a plant using their light as photosynthesis right. it makes their own food makes their own structure with exactly that. Right. exactly so you know as far as mushrooms are concerned this is like a perfect setup for growing your own mushrooms well i just want to say thank you so much to lee and brian to uh, do this awesome explanation i love your pizza so much and i wish you a lot of success and uh let's keep in touch and see what happens in the next two weeks with these mushrooms again thank you guys taylor thank you man we Appreciate had a blast it, and uh the things that we're going to do with this thing are incredible <laughs>